So, well, it's comfortable, they're both right, because I, I said them both. So, uh, we were trying to find the man who expressed the number, starting at April 83. Nip long at the Starting at April 83. 360. Okay. It's 360. See, my expressor is a product here, my prime numbers. Okay, because we're trying to find my, the highest common what? Factor. So my factor is not normally the whole. The easiest way to do that is finding like the mana codes. The expressing it as a product of the mana Or of the mana primes. So we talked about my prime numbers, which is Kalinga 2, and after 3, after 5, 7, after 7, 21. Uh, okay, let's try using the method that we used earlier. It's the 8, 8 divided by 1. 8 divided by 2. So it means now there's a number that goes into 8 in a punch or 8 itself. So 8 is not a prime number. So let's try 9. 9 divided by 1. 9 divided by 2. Oh, yeah, young is 9 divided by 2. 4.5. Then 9 divided by 3. Three. The nine unaleni nombolo that comes in between. So each the relationship is a bit three sided now. We need a relationship behind it. One and the number. No cheating. So nine has three nyaro one and nine. So it has to be leo nombolo itself and one. So it means nine is not a prime number, right? Let's go into ten. One divided by ten? Ten. Uh, 10 divided by 1, 1 divided by 10. 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So yeah, 10, 10 divided by 2. Five. Then that means 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then it basically means there's a number that goes into 10, which is not 1. Because it has to be 1 in itself, right? So that's a problem. So 10 is not a what? A prime number. Let's try 11. Is 11 a prime number? Is 11 a prime number that the pay? Why? Who would then you know put it into right now, right? Other than one in itself. So we're saying the next prime number is 11. Because I will need just, after 11, I need to in the middle. But we should try the method still. Whenever you're in doubt, you try the method. The method has to work. So um, let's try 12. 12 divided by 1. Uh, 12 divided by 2. Then that means there's a number between 1 and 12 that divides 12. It's not allowed when we're trying to express uh, the way prime number. Then, then 12 is not a prime number, right? Let's try 13. Is 13 a prime number? Okay, because. Good then you know we divide that 13 other than yeah it's divided by one itself. Always remember the definition and the method. So I'd like us to take it till 13 and you promised me guys that you'll take it till uh, 100 yeah. So yeah these are the problems that we have. So we start with the first one when we're trying to express a number as a product of its prime number. So what's the first one? 
two. Does two go into uh, 360? Yes. What's the answer? One eight. One eight. So we have one eight. We 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 go with this number until we exhaust it, until it's not working anymore. So now two into one eight. Okay, two still goes into one eight, and our answer is nine. And then two into nine. Forty five. Two goes into ninety, and then it goes forty five times. We have our triangle again. That, uh, it's forty five, not forty two. Forty five. So there's two going to 45 though, not anymore. So you have to use the number until you, uh, you, you, you exhaust all its capabilities in the context of the, the, the factorization using um, uh, prime numbers. So once you're done with the first one, once it doesn't give you the result that you want, the whole number, you look for the what next prime number, right? There's three going to 45. How many times? So we're saying 3 plus, which is a prime number, it goes how many times? 15. The triangle again. Does 3 go into 15? Because you have to exhaust the number, you don't just to stop it. Does 3 go into 15? Mm -hmm. How many times? 5. So, there's 5. We have the triangle again. So, does 3 go into 5? The fact is very clear what's the answer. No. It doesn't. It's a fraction. So if we leave the remainder, then we have to what? Try the next one. Which is five. Five does five go into five? Okay, we have five. How many times are five going to five? Not as a PC one, one time. So we have uh, what? Two times 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 no my name sorry sorry teacher sorry huh uh, what are you teaching them uh math well, what kind of math well this is factorization using prime numbers to find the highest common factor uh, it's different from what we used to learn huh? Well, at times the syllabus now requires them to actually start from other numbers that they can form. Number theory. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. It looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after three? Times three. After three. And then times three. Okay, two, three or three, three? Two, three. Okay. Yeah. And then. Look at that! I'm from a friend from university. So, um, after three. And then I need you guys to find the answer for me. Yeah. Two times three times. Two times two times two. Times. Two times two. Four. Times two. Eight. Times three. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. 24 times 3? Kargashu. <laughs> you can't calculate this card. Times? Kube. Right? 366. You're not going to do it. You're not going to take the end of the That's cheating. So, uh, there's like 2 times 2 times 2. That means it's 2 to the power. One, two, three. What's two to the power three, by the way? Eight. What's that? Eight. Two to the power three? Eight. Eight, yeah. You always have to double check. You can't just count one, two, three. That's not how it's done. That's like memorizing. So you have to be sure what's okay. Does it work? It's eight. We're saying two to the power three. Basically, say about two times two times two or eight. So it says um, if we check at two to the power three. If it brings you eight, then so you understand that it's the shorter answer two to the power three. And then again, 
Okay, that's the one. So, moving on to like, what 260, we do the same thing. Okay, I think now we'll go to the next one. 